Here, here's what it looks like from a distance. You know, like it, it's like a little. You know, in fact, it, you know, like you might think, oh, this would tip over if they jumped on it, but they, but it doesn't. It, it's perfectly balanced to where that board is heavier than the top part. So that way, when they jump on it, you know, it doesn't fall over. Plus, you know, I usually slide it in front of a window, and then that way, when they jump on it. You know, it didn't. You know, it didn't wiggle back and forth. You know, but yeah, but it, it's pretty heavy. So it likes it, and it, and it won't. It doesn't turn over. And uh, like I said, my cats jump on it all the time. Like they they sit on it all the time. Okay. But I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll try to get some measurements, and I'll let you, and I'll tell you how you know what how tall it is and how long and. And how wide, how big around my board is, and in, in case you want to make your own. Okay. Oh, but anyway, um, that's all I used on to make that cat perch. Is um, it, it was like this kind of real thin, uh, you know, it wasn't very thick. It was like this really thin indoor outdoor carpeting, and you, you can buy that at a hardware store too, and. Uh, I don't know, it comes in fairly, you can buy them in standard rolls, like they come in certain type, certain lengths, you know, certain heights, you know, and they're already rolled up into two tube-like rolls, you know, so, and then you just lay out however much you need, and, and you get, you use a very sharp uh, X-Acto knife, and, and some really sharp scissors, too, and uh, you can just, you can first you can score it. Of course, like you know, you measure off how much you need, and then you just kind of score it, you know, with your knife, and you kind of, you know, and then then you can uh, cut it with some really sharp scissors. And uh, but you know, but make sure it's real thin because it, the thinner the carpeting, the easier it is to cut. And uh, but anyway, but that that's my cat perch. And uh, so. But I'll I'll just I'll show you. Oh, now the other piece of furniture I made uh, took a little bit more time. Now this piece didn't take hardly any time to make because everything else was already put together. And the only thing I made I put together was the round piece of wood, and I put fabric on top and everything else. And and then plus I had to buy that pe that little uh, piece of white you know plastic you saw. And to go down inside the pipe, and uh, oh, and then plus some screws. I screwed that onto the board, and everything. And uh, but anyway, but it then you know, and, and all I had to do was just set it on top, and it worked. <laughs> so it it fit. So anyway, but uh, but anyway, it just you know, it, it wasn't hard to make at all. You know, that that didn't take you know, didn't take any time to make. But uh, oh, now I do have a piece of furniture downstairs. That I can show you on on cam on my camera, on my video. Oh no, I have some pictures of it on my Facebook page, and uh, I I can post that, and uh, so you can maybe I can, you know, or but I'll, I'll go ahead and do a put it on my video camera and show you. And now that took a little longer to make. Uh, it was a little bit more involved because I used more I had more wood, I had a big piece of wood involved, and then plus I had several other pieces of wood involved and uh, plus extra material and lots of staples you know from using a staple gun and screws and then I had rollers I had to buy some I had I put four rollers on it and it's a good thing I did because that way I could I can move it around different I can move it from one place to another and well, if I, in fact the rollers are are those lock type rollers you can lock them in place but since it just stays in one place, pretty much, I, I don't ever lock the rollers. You know, I don't ever lock them in place. You know, so, but and they they caught they in fact the rollers probably cost more than the fabric or the wood. You know, they were like I can't remember how much they were a piece, but but they were you know I guess because they were these kind of heavy duty rollers, you know, they were a little bit more expensive. You know, but anyway, but that was just you know just I, I saw this piece of furniture on the internet I thought oh you know I can make that you know and so I made it you know. oh I would I, I, I th I'm thinking about making another piece of furniture uh, out of some more out of some more scrap wood in my in my garage uh, 
more like a bench, kind of a with with sort of a rectangle bench about this wide, and uh, and so anyway, and that that way both of the cats can sit on it. <clears throat> Excuse me, my cough here. Yeah, both of the cats can sit on it, you know, but I have to wait on that one because uh, we have some other projects going on. Like we're we're trying to do some cleaning and getting rid of things, so so we have to kind of clean out our garage and a bunch of other stuff. So it you know once we get things kind of down to where we can move around the house you know, or, or get things out of the house, well, I, maybe I can make my cat bench, you know. But, uh, wait, wait, we really like, uh, if you're real industrious, you know, and, and want to try to make things, you know, like, uh, make things for your cats, you know, it's, uh, in fact, when, when, if you look on the internet, uh, some of these things are not really that hard to make. Uh, you just have to kind of think them through and uh, use your imagination on uh, it. Like, in fact, just like this cat perch, uh, I just did a lot of improv. It's a lot of improv imp improvising, you know. And uh, so, oh well. Like, in fact, when I was making this cat bench, um, I made it a little bit different than what I than the one on the internet. And uh, in fact, my bench will probably last a lot longer than some of this stuff that you see on the internet, because you know it's some of it's kind of cheaply made, and it probably won't last very long, you know. But I guarantee this bench that I made will last a lot longer than what what you see on the internet. Oh, in fact, that cat perch will probably be here long after my cats are gone. <laughs> so you know, that, that's how. You know that, that that's how well I made it. You know, and everything. But uh, in fact, most of the things you can make yourself. You know, for a lot cheaper than you can buy them. Uh, like I know this bench I made. Uh, when I saw it on the internet, I think they this thing I saw it was like a uh, it was it was over a hundred dollars. You know, and so I made mine for less than a hundred dollars. So um, in fact, mine I guess the whole T the total I, ha I already had some of the wood in my garage, so I used that. But I, bought, I had to buy extra pieces of wood, plus some rollers, and then I bought then I got some fabric and some foam, you know, for the cushions, you know, to, and then the material to cover the cushions and all that. And then and then plus I bought this. Well, of course I bought this electric staple gun, which was really cool, and it's a lot easier to use than a hand stapler because. Oh, I don't know if you've ever used a staple gun before, the 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 manual ones, but they're really hard to squeeze, you know. But so I bought this electric staple gun, which was really cool, and like you just plug it in, and it's easy to load too. Like you load you load in the staples, and then all you do is just barely press on it, and um, and and like the, the you know just you aim it and press it, and the staples. Yeah, go like that. Like, yeah, you can just go. Ch -ch -ch, you know. Of course, now it's not as powerful as one of those uh, air compressor staple guns. It just, it's not like a pop, pop, pop. You know, but uh, but <clears throat> it just for what I want to use it for, it works great. You know, so if you ever want to get, if you want to, you know, get a an electric staple gun, uh, I I got mine at Home Depot, and this man showed me how to use it and what kind of staples to buy for. You know. So, well, now this is not a plug for Home Depot, but anyway, but that's where I got my staple gun, my electric staple gun. And it didn't cost too much. I think it was around $20, $30, something like that, you know. And, and staples weren't really expensive either, you know. But anyway, but, uh, and, and I mean, it, it works great. I mean, I, I recommend it. <laughs> I recommend getting, you know, electric. If you want to, if you have something you want to staple, you know, really well, you know, like get, get an electric staple gun. And, and plus, like I said, if you don't have the money to spend on these, air compressed staple guns or these, you know, uh, battery operated ones you know, or battery charger ones, you know, like my, since mine was electric, it didn't cost near as much, you know, so it was fairly cheap. But, but anyway, uh, so, but, I, but I, I, I'll show you the cat bench tomorrow. And uh, now, like I said, that one took quite a while to make. It took, uh, well, I guess maybe about a week to make it, or maybe two weeks at the, at the tops because there was a lot more involved, you know, but it turned out really good. And in fact, the cats, you know, they, they love it. They, they, they sit on it all the time.
you know, because it's real nice and soft. And, oh, yeah, and the material is nice and soft, too. Yeah, just like this cat perch, like, they, they like that a lot. You know, they, they, in fact, the minute I turn it into a cat perch, they loved it. <laughs> so, wait, wait. Well, uh, like I said, I, I showed you some of the cat toys, and, and, uh, and I showed you some of the things I made, and, and all that, and then, yeah, but so my, my last, and I showed that their toy box. You know, oh, now that toy box was really easy to make. Uh, like I said, all it was was just, you know, that, uh, what's that? Oh, the, the, I, I call it particle wood. I think they call it OSB board, you know, but anyway. So, you know, just, and, and it's, and it's and plus, you know, I, I glue, put wood glue and I screwed it together. And, uh, and it, it like as you can see, it, it held a lot of toys. You know, it had a, I even put a lot of to cat toys in there. And uh, yeah, I, I I thought about putting a lid on it, but I thought nah, I'll just leave it open. And that way, I can just pitch the toys in there. You know, so and then plus with the rope and putting the sliders on it, you can pull it and slide it back and forth. You know. But anyway, well, uh, well, well, it looks like it's time to close out. So I'll, I'll show you my my uh, cat bench tomorrow. And say bye.